Hello students, my name is Shaishav and today we'll be focusing on our mini Python project of Madlib. And this is a pretty simple game. Um, before under, uh, writing to the, any of the codes of the game, let's understand what the actual game is about. So I have uh, pulled out one of the examples. Uh, this is a random example from the uh, Google. And it says, um, basically, you just take a bunch of sentences and break, break down those sentences and just put the blanks where we have adjectives, nouns, and uh, any of the things of the grammar. And from that, we can ask the, uh, ask the player that, hey, uh, this is the entire um, um, pizza game. And in this, it's a pizza game for our Medlib game. We have to just fill out the words based on the what is indicated. So it's in, it's, if it's adjective, just write the adjective and everything, anything else. So user, based on your imagination, could fill out those uh, sentences and make a full entire sentence or full entire paragraphs. So this is pretty much easy game, but it's fun too. So let's write the code. So for right now, I've just selected the simple um, one of the small verses of poem, which are roses are red, violets are blue. We love good jokes and hope you love them too. How, uh, and main thing we need to understand that before writing any of the further code in this entire project, uh, uh, we will we are focusing on string con concatenation as well as how to assign uh, values to the variables and as well as how to ask the user uh, the values which we will be assigning to the variables and um, so let's get started so before starting or putting any of the blanks in any of these our verses this is our pre already defined um, paragraph or you can say verse and in order to create the blanks i will just select random um, words from the entire verses and replace with the specific uh, variables. So how do we decide what we'll be doing, uh, which variables we'll be selecting? So it's pretty much easy. Uh, it completely depends on the programmer. So uh, right now, from for the very first line, roses are red. So I'm just selecting, um, take it as a, a red color. So we'll, we'll instead of red, we'll be asking the user for the color, and similarly. Uh, for the violets are blue so we can literally ask uh, for the user the color for the violet so instead of uh, we'll see select for the another second color ask the user for the second color now for the very uh, very third line and we it is we love good jokes so for the we can just take good as an adjective and for jokes it doesn't it's not necessary that you have to have all the grammar rules and everything you can just replace jokes with the nouns or any verbs or anything it's totally fine it just uh, I'm just trying to replace the specific words with the variables so instead of jokes let's put the noun so we will asking the user for the noun and the very for for the very last line which is hope you love them too so let's just take uh, as a name. So instead of you, we'll be uh, asking the user for the name. And uh, these are the following uh, variables we will be using uh, in order to replace in the for the different uh, strings, we, uh, different words we have decided. So how it will work. So in order to assign in the, any of the uh, variables, their values, you just write the name of the variable. So which is name of the variable is color and then it's equal to so it's assigning any of the things so now we are asking for the user which is and how we are asking the user which is input so you just call the function input and now you will be asking the user the color of the so I will just run it So as soon as you see, uh, we basically I, ha I haven't print anything, but it's still asking, which is red. And yeah, uh, we can see it prints everything. And uh, yeah, so now we understand that we have asked the user for the input and now we assigning those input to the co variable color. But however, I didn't get any notification that what what I need to do, uh, do I need to print, uh, enter color or enter color, second color, adjective, anything else. So how we'll be doing, 
uh, inside the input function you can just uh, write and indicate the user that what they need to what they have been asked for so we can just say enter color and now as soon as you run it you will see it will be asked for enter color so I will just write um, yellow and yeah uh, we can see that uh, we haven't changed anything in our line so it does not show any changes but I, however it does stores so it asks the uh, um, user to enter the color and then whatever its uh, user writes it it will take inside the input function and assign it so it will be assigning it to the specific color variable so now as we decided we'll go for uh, ahead and just make another color which is and now the same thing input asking the user enter second color then we'll just asking the user adjective equals to input enter an adjective and it's also asking about the user will be in a uh, noun just input just write enter a noun and the very least would be name enter any name so it could be any name or username it uh, or the it's it's fine so now I need to write input so now as soon as we run it we will be able to see that we are now we are asked our user been asked for the color which is just writing red which is second color yeah we can just write red to adjective good or anything else noun could be jake or jack and just um put the any name so basically you don't need to uh, user doesn't need to follow the specific rules but they can just enter it it now it definitely stored in the following variables but we haven't changed our print line so how do we will be able to show the user that hey this is the game and we change it the change the verses so it's pretty much simple it's just uh we are doing screen concatenation so over here will be very first very first change of very first variable was color which we need to add instead of red so i will just delete the word red and in order to concatenate or add those color with the specific print option you can see you can do is comma and then just write color so as soon as you write color uh, it should be able we should be able to change it so it uh, will it will, uh, it will definitely print roses are and whatever the color we have already asked uh, from the user so just run it and yellow and when we see it says roses are yellow so it's thus changes based on our string concatenation so now let's do the same so instead of violet i want color 2 so color 2 comma and for third line which is our adjective so comma i will remove oh good and just write adjective and then comma or you can just add the space line so you can just comma and in order to add, add, put the space in between just do comma and the space comma and comma and just write whatever the variable name is so instead of jokes we decided to put a noun so i'll just put a noun and for the very last instead of view we decided to put something which is a name and basically comma 
So you just close the entire string and write the comma and then put whatever the variable is, which is name. And then come uh, close it with the, so again, we'll just write comma because we're still adding the another uh, uh, further sentence. So we're adding the further sentence just to, and double quotes or single quotes is fine too. And now we'll just try to run it. And let's do the, uh, let's enter the color, which is, I'll just enter a uh, yellow color. Uh, second color would be red. Uh, let's do adjective, which is bad. Noun could be anything. So you can just write and see and enter any name which you can just write jake and let's see so as we see uh, roses are yellow reds are blue oh we love bad and see hope jake love them too so this could be uh, pretty much easy uh, you can just have to do concatenation and everything once we have completed uh, the following changes uh, it's pretty much easy we can just uh, make it much more neater and make, make, make it more presentable now just as welcome let's make it more presentable welcome to our mad live game and And at the end, we can just let me ask. Uh, I can say thank you. And so I just add and make it much more cleaner and neater so it becomes much more fun, engaging. Um, I can just add. So as we see, there is no space in between. So just adding the spaces, and so it becomes much more easier for the player to play. So, yeah. so once we have this uh, you can just read on it play it again so let's now do the final version so let's see welcome to our mad lib game hope you are ha you are having a great day and let's do the color which is green uh, blue adjective uh, I'm just writing anything just writing dog and uh, just write name Lee yeah so roses are green blue are blue we love words dog hope Lee love them too so it's pretty much fun uh, and it could be and now it uh, I will get, like to give a little bit of understanding that this is the entire concatenation and how user will be easily displayed entire or game so this is one of your homeworks go ahead and write any of the things make a fun make it more funnier it could be a homework or make, uh, make it as a homework or something make it as a project change a project and add something much more funnier interesting and please let us know in the comments i hope you guys uh, enjoyed our first project video of python thank you